Not completely having abandoned the brigadier, the doctor had left him a space-time telegraph to contact him in case of emergency. Even so, the doctor was openly resentful when the brigadier used it to summon him back to Earth for the destruction of an oil rig, which he initially considered a trivial matter. After defeating the Zygons, who had been behind the attack, the doctor and Sarah again left in the TARDIS. From the doctor's point of view, this was his last meeting with the brigadier for some time. And Major Beresford during the crinoid infestation. During the Kral's second attempted invasion of Earth, the brigadier was in Canada investigating sentient electricity pylons. In 1979, when the doctor asked for his help, he was in Oslo at a conference about fishing stocks. When Jasper Corrigan, the head of new private anti-alien organization Albion Defense, attempted to discredit UNIT by using telepathically generated monsters, the brigadier was aided by the Ninth Doctor in tracking the source of Albion's monsters, while UNIT nurse Tara Mishra sacrificed her career by claiming that she worked for Albion Defense to expose their crimes. When the crisis was over, the brigadier observed that the doctor was more like a general in this incarnation, ordering his companions and allies into action while he coordinated the plans. When the mysterious Robert Bertram provided UNIT with new virtual reality training equipment, the Brigadier and Benton were forced to covertly act against the organization when they realized that the equipment was altering the minds of those who used it. During their investigations into Bertram, they were reunited with the Doctor, now in his seventh incarnation and tracking a time-altering enemy. Identifying Bertram as his foe Mortimus, the Doctor was able to thwart his scheme by destroying the equipment the monk was using to contain Artemis a chronovore he had managed to capture, but the brigadier was killed during the struggle. Due to the role Ace had played in her rescue, Artemis granted Ace one favor, with Ace choosing to alter her history so that she was in a position to save the brigadier from death. After this, recognizing that the brigadier's style of command wouldn't work in the upcoming decade, the doctor hypnotized the brigadier to retire from unit and forget about this meeting, thus preserving the Brigadier's lack of recognition of Ace in a meeting that took place in Ace's past and the Brigadier's future. Shortly before he left Unit, Lethbridge-Stewart was made a commander of the British Empire, 